this is Liz Feldman. Um, Hello. She, uh, like our guest from last week, is an Emmy winner. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Wait, did you bring it? I, no. No. They're, they, I they're, they're, they're actually, yeah. it's, I, it's their daytime Emmys. So, so what? It, That's an Emmy, Liz Feldman. I'd take it's it. fair. You, you're an Emmy winning writer. I appreciate that. Thank you. And a, a, a genius stand-up comedian. There was a really long oh. montage, which we will now reenact for you now. I've had today. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think she was thinking about her. Felt guilty about messing it up. About before. messing it up with Alice, and then she says, "Let's move on together." Make the same mistake. Interesting. I'm just saying, I'm a writer. I thought it was she was unemployed. <laughs> You're was an like, Emmy award-winning writer. They're daytime Emmys. <laughs> I don't have a. I don't even have a. a major equals award. choice. I have no major awards. No, okay. I. You know what? Best I would podcast. love to have an Emmy. I'm, I'm thrilled. I, I'm You know I'm what? Don't malign your daytime Emmy, Liz Feldman. I have more than one. Oh, that's right. You have more than one. How many do you have? Like three? Five? Seven? No. How many do you have? Four. Twelve? <laughs> one for each corner of the table. <laughs> How many? Four. Just four. See? Timing. Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Can I do my impression of Clarice from... Uh, yeah, do it, okay. do it, do it. Dr. Lecter, you have to help me, Dr. Lecter, please. You don't understand. They were lambs, and they were screaming. Thank you. Well done! Whoa. Oh, my God! Thank you. I see an acting Emmy on her. I see I another daytime yeah. Emmy in your yeah. future. Can you get those for this, or...? Uh, no. <laughs> no. Welcome, everyone. Welcome! <laughs> we brought back our favorite guest. Welcome to our podcast. I mean, the people who agree to come back, even though... The people who could come back. Free Mimosas. Free Mimosas. Free Mimosas. Yeah. Why does it say foam on your nose? It says final. final. Oh. I should wear my bifocals. Foam. <laughs> it says final at. I knew what that meant. Wait, what okay. about when they open talking about the tie-in for oh. uh, feminine hygiene products yes. with, the, with the Les Girls movie? Yes. Well, we have our own little version of it, which we'll show you. This week's episode of We're Getting Nowhere is brought to you by After Ellen Tampoons. <laughs> Tampoons. <laughs> Tampoons, because you're good enough for two O's. <laughs> awesome. Of I want to be uh, out of the way. And and Joyce. Joyce Wishnick. We love well, you. Have the Joyce jacket on. You do it. Yeah, do Wishnick. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. 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 Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <clears throat> If that happens to your shoulder, girls, it's normal? It's normal. <laughs> yeah, there's a, great, there's a great book by Judy Bloom called Are You There, God? It's Me, oh, Shoulder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should read it. You it, came with jokes. Uh, like, I don't know what to say. We, we, we've I'm got the two stand-ups. With after Ellen Tampons. We've got the two stand-ups on either swim. side of the couch. Do a lot of stand-ups. Do a lot of stand-ups. Oh, you can do it. She's winning. It's not a competition. Huh? Listen, the point is... I need you to keep your vagina in your pants hole. Dude, it's in here. What? Your vagina is so big, I can see it. And I can see it looking at other people. No, you can't. You're supposed to be looking at my daughter, Molly. Her? Yes, her. Don't break her heart. Her heart is smart. OK. Smarter than yours. Uh, where is your heart? Is your heart in your V-hole? Is that where it is? Like down here, man, under my tie. That's what I thought. OK. Don't break my daughter's heart hole. Dude, she likes she likes to surf in Malibu in the summer. What? That's what you th have told her to think, but that's not really what she thinks in her mm. brain parts. This is the Liz <clears throat> Feldman show. This is your show. What? I've decided you're Johnny Carson, and I am Ed McMahon. Oh wow! Yeah, that's so kind. So, no, I think about when it. When you were on when you were on the season finale of We're Getting Nowhere's season finale of The L Word, a lot of season finales. Yeah. And you did the sock puppet thing uh -huh. with, with the Shane puppet talking about. The heart hole and the brain parts. Oh, okay, yes. I have been quoting you for about two months now. Really? I have a huge comedy crush on you. Literally, I'm putting it on my MySpace. I'm announcing it today to all of you. It's going up there. It's, really? It is the funniest 
thing I've ever seen in my entire life. That's and you're so like, kind. I can see your v-hole. It's looking at other people. I loved it. And you could be like, my daughter's not using her brain parts. You're amazing. Okay, please tell the joke. Oh, uh, okay. Well, they're gonna. I think they might see it eventually. But well, f that. I was Do really. I couldn't believe that there was a lesbian fashion show. Here's the thing, I lesbians love our people, fashionable. I love our people, but for a comedian, come on, a lesbian fashion show? So my joke was, I didn't have to go to the show, because I could just imagine what it was like, and to me it was like, Mary's wearing head-to-toe denim, and Tevas by Teva. And then I went on and on, and then I was like, and for some reason that woman is wearing a flight attendant's outfit with a strap-on, strap-on, by Teva. <laughs> And then, and then she yells from the audience, that was my sister! Because my sister was there, of course, wearing a flight attendant outfit with a strap on. What's that like, having a sister that would wear like Amazing. Like no, because I'm, I'm, I'm the G-rated lesbian. That's amazing. Yeah, like, I'm the calm one. Because she is And people call you nuts. the Sarah Silverman of lesbians. So people say she that must be like the Don Rickles. I wear a size uh, seven and a quarter. Right in between seven and a seven and a half. What is wrong with you? You're crazy, and I heart you a lot. I appreciate that. I heart you. You. Um, <laughs> you don't have to say it back. You don't feel the same way. It's just like, no, no, it's I, like every relationship I've ever been in, it's kind of like, I love you, and they're like, I'm going to get out of the car now. What's the soonest you ever said I love you? I do not need to tell that yes. to people at home. Yes, you do. What's the soonest you ever told someone you love them? You don't speak my language, Liz. What's the soonest? How long? How long did I open up my heart hole? <laughs> Listen, I, here's what I want you to do. I I'm such to, a stereotypical dyke. I don't want to talk about this. I am if you sit good, here long enough, I will press my you love to it, you. You said it's my of course, show. Johnny. I'm asking you, Ed. Okay? <laughs> Nobody what? asks Ed anything. I Ed doesn't know what to say. This is my show now, so what? what John, uh, you care about Ed? How, how quickly I'm we such have, a stereotype. So then just tell us. God, I hate myself. Wait. <laughs> how long we were dating, or which date was it? Like, how length much? of time week wise. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> this is fun. Let's see, things just got interesting. So too when soon. <laughs> too soon. Too soon. By the way, I enjoy that joke of yours about the dinosaurs. Is that too soon? Very funny. <laughs> oh, very thank good joke. You. That's my favorite. Joke I was told it wasn't funny. It makes me laugh every time. No, it's very funny. Thank you. I'm so happy that so you. So getting back it. to what we were just talking about. <laughs> um, <laughs> How so I'll tell you if you tell me. Um, within the first week, <laughs> I've done that. And w did you feel, like, sincerely that you were in yes. love with this person? Oh, yes. Within the first week? Yes. Second date. Do I yeah. know this person? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> tell, me your, tell me your story. You suck! I hate you so much. I hate you so much. No, okay, 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 okay. Tell okay. me your story. Oh. Before I hang my That was enjoyable. Um, oh, Ed is really upset right now. But I'm sure for you, it was really Let's that you were person. We're never talking about this again. I'm never having you back on the show. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Anything else, Liz? I have really... I have, I have really <laughs> Nobody makes me blush. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay. You have to go. get right up to the front. Liz. Liz. I mean, seriously. Liz. And I'm, like, not posing. I was in mid-joke. You look mid-joke. See, look, okay, so then can here's I the, my wall? here's the, here, yes, you can. Here's yes. the uh, linen jacket. Love it. Here's the linen pants around down here. Here's the white shirt, and you can only vaguely see right here the embroidered vest, but, oh, trust me, it's there. <laughs> That's me. I love 15 it. years ago. Come on. I, I'm keeping that. That's for you. I That's love it. You. I'll sign it for you. Please? Even. Yep. And I want you to sign my arm. Sign your arm? Yeah, let's take the blazer off. I want your autograph, Liz. This means so much to me. What does it say? It says stay funny with a PH. <gasps> oh, I thought it said pharmacy. You guys are jealous, right? Wait, can you see how blurry that good? Look at this. Jealous? I'm gonna sell my arm on eBay. That'll you'll get a lot for that. I love it. Oh, that's Thank so you. nice. Thank you so much. Plant. I do have to say though, the After Ellen uh, viewers are like really nice people. Like they're wonderful, lovely people Best who say, who say nice things and make people feel good and keeps us from jumping off the edge. You know, like I've read some of those comments and I appreciate that. <laughs> I do. I really sincerely do. It's nice, you know, because so. you're talented, and wonderful, and a great role model and proof that I mean, you laid down when you were a kid what you wanted to do with your life, saying I want to work with Ellen DeGeneres, and you did. You're just building and building and building, and I'm blessed to have you in my bed and sign my arm. Oh my god, isn't that nice? No, it's true. <laughs> Do a plug. Say, I love afterallen.com for us. Well, now you're putting 
words in my mouth? Just say it, bitch. Listen, <laughs> I feel very strongly about AfterEllen.com. I don't know if it's love yet, but when it is, I'll write you poems, AfterEllen.com, and I'll stalk you, and then next time I see you, it'll be weird. And I'll be like, hey, what's up, what's up? How are you? How are you, though? How are you? Are you good? You look good. Did you lose weight? That'll be me. And you'll be all, good to see you again, Liz. <laughs> That's all. Thanks a lot. Nice. Great. Okay. I'm Liz Feldman. You guys are great. Bye!